you're ah. a mutt amongst your on a planet uh, around what, around one star and a hundred billion stars. There's a hundred billion galaxies in the observable universe. We can see out 13.6 billion years. It probably goes out 64 billion years. You know do, these do you are have things a which are observable. Question, yeah. Do you think, as a as a God believer, you have to entertain this cosmic nihilism as part of your seeking of truth? You have to live without oh. God. You know what I mean? Oh, if you were to read my work, you would see that the opening chapter of my book, both Reasonable Faith and On Guard, is an exploration of what you call cosmic nihilism. I think this is what motivates the search for God. I derive great uh, insight from the work of existentialist philosophers like Sartre and Camus, as well as Russell and Nietzsche, because of their analysis of the human predicament. I think that a consistent atheistic view of the world leads to cosmic nihilism. That is to say that life is meaningless, valueless, and purposeless, hmm. and that therefore life is absurd. And you see atheists themselves betraying their view by affirming meaning to their choices, purposes uh, in life, and the value of certain things, especially when they feel that they have been wronged by hmm. someone else.